Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is David Olson. I'm a member of First Lutheran Church, the church that you are all seated in. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. This is our eighth annual uh, Christmas carol sing-along. We skipped a year. You know why. I'm not going to go into it. Um, uh, we get excited for this event every year. Uh, we really look forward to inviting our, our friends and family from the community and uh, local musicians to come and uh, sing our favorite uh, Christmas carols with us. Um, speaking of musicians, I would like to point out that uh, musicians joining us today are Charlie Gbeck, Jennifer Mills, Brenda Zare, and Victoria Suarez Yepsen. Um, more on them later uh, when they come up to play. Um, Join us downstairs afterward for refreshments and goodies and, and uh, fellowship time um, and meet the members of the rest of our First Lutheran family. Um, the words and the songs will be printed on the screen. Uh, also, if there's a number after the title, they are in the red hymnals in the pews if you want to follow along and, and uh, sing parts or something like that. So. Um, I almost forgot something, but I will start afterward. We will begin with a word of prayer by our esteemed Pastor William Shields. <laughs> Pastor Bill, please lead us in a prayer. All right. Now I'm esteemed, okay. Well, we're going to liven up this uh, dreary afternoon uh, with some singing, but let's bow our heads in, in prayer first. Father in heaven, we do thank you for uh, the chance to sing your praises and sing these uh, songs of the season and and uh, prepare our hearts for the coming of Christmas again and remember uh, the coming of Jesus into this world who died on the cross for our sins and what a great gift that was the greatest Christmas gift ever and so we pray that you would be with us today lift our spirits with this music in Jesus name amen, amen. thank you pastor bill I'm going to start briefly I'm going to read a little bit from Luke chapter 2. And in the same region there were shepherds in, out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an, with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. 
And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So let's open this sing-along with our opening song, number 283, O Come All Ye Faithful. Let's stand for the first song, please. seated. So those goosebumps that you're feeling right now a little bit, yeah, that's why we do this. We like to share those goosebumps with everybody else. You know, it's contagious. We all know what contagious is like these days. Um, Our next song, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear, refers back to Luke 2.14 in the first verse where, the first verse of the song where we sing, Peace on the earth, goodwill to men, from heaven's all-gracious King. 
Let's sing about the assurance of peace and goodwill that our gracious King gave to us in the form of a Savior. Number 282. Tell It on the Mountain describes in three short verses the part that the shepherds play in the story. An angel appeared to them, told them where to go, and what they saw when they got there. And the refrain is what they did after. They shared their testimony with others. And that's what we are to do. It says, at the end of John, go therefore and uh, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, but our job as, as Christians is to, to tell our story. It's to tell our story and tell Jesus' story. 
And people might say, oh, tell me more. Or they might say, no, I don't believe in that nonsense, go away. And in either case, you, you share your story and, and you share uh, the story about Jesus, then you, you've done your job. Um, now you can pray for them, you can come back to them later and say, hey, how do you feel now? And I feel the same way. Okay, well, I'll pray for you again. Um, but it, it's not our job to, to make Christians. All we can do is, is tell people about Jesus and the Holy Spirit uh, will either move in them or it won't. So uh, that's what we have to have faith in. So um, anyway, so the name of the song is Go Tell It on the Mountain. And that's what the shepherds did and that's what we need to do. So uh, join us in uh, song number 290, uh, Go Tell It on the Mountain. solo from Brenda Zare, and she's going to introduce her uh, piece before she sings. So, Brenda, come on up. Oh. <laughs> There's more people than I thought there was going to be. <laughs> um, I'm going to be singing Silent Night, the first verse in Hawaiian. I learned this when I was in eighth grade, um, and then I will have another part to it. And I am thankful, thank you for inviting me. Um, and here I go.
moonbeams bright, angels sing, joy they bring, peace on earth, good will for all. Sing Thank you so much, Brenda. That was lovely. We're going to revisit that song again in a little while, because as much as I enjoyed Brenda's version, I got to be a little selfish. I want to sing it too, and I think the rest of you feel that way too. <laughs> but thank you so much, Brenda, for that. Um, our next solo act is going to be, not solo act, it's a duo. Um, Charlie G. Beck uh, is our organist today. He's been... Um, playing the organ for us for uh, a number of years now with our sing-along. And um, not only does he blast the organ pipes, he tickles the ivories too. So, uh, and he will be uh, joined by uh, Jennifer Mills, who will be playing her flute. Um, Jennifer, is a, she's been a music educator for 18 years. She's working on her PhD uh, at the University of Iowa, but I won't hold that against her. And... Uh, <laughs> So they're going to be playing still, still, still.
Thank you very much, Jennifer and Charlie. Okay, our next soloist, uh, her name is Victoria Suarez Yepsen. She's a Princeton native, and she recently moved back here from Chicago. She's the New Vero County Director of United Way, and she will be singing Ave Maria. Victoria. Well, we'll keep going with our uh, solo acts, and uh, many of you have, uh, not me, not me, sorry. <laughs> uh, we will be hearing the Alleluia Chorus performed by Charlie G. Beck. Um, I know he really enjoys doing this, and, and uh, uh, just like solo act, this is where the uh, if you've ever been to a concert and the, the guitarist goes off on a long riff or the riff there's a long guitar uh, drum solo or you just let somebody just go, all the, all the shackles, all the restraints are off. So uh, uh, Charlie's going to blow us away with the Alleluia Chorus.
Sorry, now you get a little of fingers like <laughs> smoking gun. You know, my, my first um, introduction, I think, to uh, Handel's, the Alleluia Chorus anyway, uh, was many years ago in the church choir here, and uh, our choir director had us sing the Alleluia Chorus for Easter. And I'd probably heard it before, but I hadn't really, I wasn't that familiar with it. And um, singing it on Easter seemed to make a lot of sense. And, and sitting here, and we've done it a few other times in the past, and, and uh, I just get feelings of both Christmas and Easter now when I hear it. And that's, that's just a great way to just kind of bring it all together. So it's always exciting to hear the Alleluia Chorus. Um, okay, as you know, we enjoy all kinds of Christmas songs, even ones that don't specifically mention Jesus whether it's Jingle Bells or White Christmas or uh, um, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I can't think of the name of that one anyway. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we enjoy uh, different kinds of songs um, that just remind us of the season. Um, the Christmas trees and the snow, which I hope we get some snow soon, but so far it's a pretty mild December, so hopefully we'll have a white Christmas. I don't think we've had an actual white Christmas in a few years, so we're looking forward to that. Um, so the words will be up on the screen. Uh, we will sing O Christmas Tree, and then when Charlie's ready, we'll go right into Winter Wonderland.
First Noel is about the very first Christmas carol that the angel sang to the shepherds in the fields that night. I can't imagine what a choir of angels sounds like, although I've probably heard a few today. Uh, but let's do our best impression on this one all together. An angelic First Noel.
We will hear once again from Victoria, uh, who will be singing Oh Holy Night, which it's another one of those really good goosebump songs. So no pressure, Victoria. <laughs>
Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Victoria. You know, I was thinking uh, the last, some of the last few songs that we've heard, um, the first Noel, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear, um, it, those songs, they really tell the story, um, word for word, what happened, and they're, they're great to sing. Um, but there are some songs like uh, O Holy Night and, and Silent Night, and um, I think even Away in a Manger, some of those, it, it's not just the words, it's the, the words are, are put so well, and then you put them to music, and they just speak to your soul. And uh, um, so that's what a wonderful song that is, and it, and it was performed so well, so thank you. Um, we are going to continue now with, again, with Jennifer and Charlie. Um, this is going to be the English uh, translation is He is Born the Holy Child. The title is in French, and I believe Jennifer told me before it was Il est né divin enfant. Hey, music educator and French teacher, too. <laughs> So Jennifer and Charlie will play that song.
Thank you, Jennifer and Charlie. You know, after hearing them and, and hearing Brenda and hearing Victoria today, um, you know, I don't play an instrument. I can carry a tune in a choir, but uh, um, I'm not a soloist. But uh, um, you really appreciate people who uh, cannot just carry a tune, but uh, like I said before, speak to your soul and uh, and make really move you and make you feel something and. And uh, so, great appreciation for the four of you here today to do that for us. Um, yes, nothing wrong with enough, <laughs> nothing wrong with more applause. Okay, um, for our next selection, I'm going back to the source real quick. I read from Luke chapter 2, starting with verse 8 before. I'm just going to read verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there is no room for them in the inn. And that's exactly what we're going to be singing about. Number 277, Away in a Manger. Okay, show of hands, whose favorite Christmas song is Silent Night? Come on. It's not as many hands as I thought, but my hand is held up high. It's my favorite. <laughs> I can let you lead that, Brenda. <laughs> oh, it, arguably, uh, possibly the most popular uh, Christmas song in this church, or maybe it's top two. I don't even know what the other one would be, but anyway, that's my favorite. Um, every Christmas Eve, we turn off all the lights at our service, and uh, we light candles, and uh, we sing Silent Night uh, by candlelight, and uh, well, we also light up our uh, Good Shepherd window, too, and it just, it's a really great atmosphere. So you should come join us on Christmas Eve. Um, uh, I don't think I'm alone when I, when I say that uh, no other Christmas song fills me with uh, memories and traditions and uh, friends and family who uh, are no longer with us over the years. Um, this song in particular for me feels like a, a blanket made up of all the years of my life and it's pulled over me and, and tucked in around me and it just makes me, uh, it gives me the, the warmest feelings that, that I can experience. So. Um, so now Silent Night is your favorite song, too, if it wasn't before. So. All right. Uh, we will sing uh, number 281. Um, Charlie's going to bring us in with the chimes in the beginning, 
And uh, as always, sing with uh, uh, not silent reverence. We won't want you to be that quiet. Soft reverence. Silent night. another point and then I forgot. So I'm just, I was all caught up in it. Um, no matter what happens in the world around us, uh, despite the bad news and the tragedies that, that bring us down, there's always good news too. And the greatest news of all is the news of a Messiah that comes to us in a stable in Bethlehem to become seated at the right hand of God. So 
Let's, uh, while we turned it way down for silent light, let's turn it way up and let's stand because you can't sing this one sitting down. Joy to the world, number 267. Remember to join us downstairs uh, for refreshments afterward. Uh, just go right down the stairs on either side. You can find your way down there. Just follow the smell of cookies and brownies and whatever else we've got going down there. It's good stuff. Uh, thank you again to our musicians, Brenda Zare, Victoria suarez Yepsen, Jennifer Mills, and the great Charlie G. Beck. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much for being here with us today to... Uh, uh, not quite bring in the season. I know it, it kind of already started. We usually start about a week earlier, but this week, this year we were a week later. But uh, we are in the Advent season. Uh, there's still a whole lot of Christmas season to go yet. So um, we thank the mu musicians. Uh, thank you uh, to the people of First Lutheran who uh, put this on, uh, people like Glenn. Um, um, Tracy Brenneman. Uh, um, doing the, the sound for us. Diane, it's been a long year. <laughs> Van Drew, that did not come to my mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Diane. <laughs> Diane was the, the vice president when I was president of the church council, and then she succeeded me as the president of the council, and I completely forgot her name. So don't let, ever let me live that down. <laughs> and thank you to, to everyone else who, uh, whether you've provided treats or uh, you set up um, the, the stands, the microphones, uh, held the door for people, uh, thank you very much to everybody who um, puts this on every year. It's not me. You know, they just want somebody to talk, so that's me. But uh, everybody else that, that puts in the legwork to plan it out and contact people and organize it, that is definitely not me. So thank you very much to all those people. Um, okay, if I haven't forgotten anything else, Glenn will point it out, which he already did, okay? Now, uh, 
as we go and leave this place, um, this place, we'll go downstairs. We'll all go downstairs after. Let's join together and uh, wish each other a Merry Christmas in the form of singing, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Thank you.